Riveting content, empowering your life. Welcome to The Sphere. This episode is sponsored by Elite Dental Wellness. At Elite Dental Wellness, Dr. Ashandra Batiste understands that one of the biggest obstacles is dental fear. The vision at Elite Dental Wellness is to ensure every patient is treated with respect, ultimate care, patience, and love. Call us today to make an appointment at area code 713-789-8680. Looking to advertise? Join the Sphere's vast demographic reach of thousands of people all over the world. Send an email today to advertise at thesphere.tv or call us at area code 832-772-7789. KOG and Company. Are your unique gifts and talents changing the world? Do you desire to belong to a community of unity? Visit kogpassion.com to learn more about the Unleash Your Dopeness movement. Good morning, good people. This is LaShonda Johnson, your certified financial educator and a certi and um, co-founder of the Houston Housewives of Finance <laughs> this morning on the Money Factor and the Sphere. And <laughs> oh good morning. Gosh. This is Tony Sanders, also the co-founder of the Houston Housewives of Finance and your certified financial education instructor. It is Money Monday. She's, money Monday. She's a little tongue-tied, but that's yeah. okay, because guess what? It's a holiday week. And uh, for a short week for a lot of people, a lot of people are off this week. So make sure that you're uh, liking and sharing the show today. Absolutely. Um, because, hey, like no other, we're going to have a fantastic It's going to be a good one. It's going to be something to wake you guys up this morning. Wake up. Um, so, again, like Tony said, you want to share this one because, man, we got some stuff that's going to be good, Is Tony. Good? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's get into it. Um we're going to jump in the news this morning. What we got? What we got? Um, well, you guys know we're in, this was midterm election, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. So things have been looking pretty good as far as the market is concerned. Mm. But guess what? Mm. The experts have uh, anticipated our next recession when it's going to be. Wow. Yes. So do I need right to do now, a drum roll? Okay, we're not going to tell you yet. <laughs> um, but what we will tell you is that um, we're currently in a bull market. Yes. And uh, we're, you know, the experts have, actually, let's go into the article because it's really good. Uh, this is one thing that both our parties, the D and the R's, agree on. Okay. Is when we're going to be hitting our next recession. Mm. But, uh, so we'll start off with Democrats and Republicans agree uh, the bull market will likely end within two years. Hmm. Two years. Okay, so let's let's get into this. So Republicans and Democrats might not agree on much these days. We know that, but there's a consensus forming amongst among uh, partisan investors. The bull market is running low on time. Mm -hmm. Fifty-three percent of Republican investors say the bull market will end within the next two years. Okay. <laughs> That's mm -hmm. uh, when we get our president out. Yes, um, according to E-Trade survey shared exclusively on CNN Business on Thursday, the survey taken during the days after the midterm election. So you're right, Tony. Mm -hmm. It all coincides. Found that an identical 53% of Democrat investors anticipate a bear market within the next two years as well. It is uh, the loan area where the where we see similar sentiments across the aisle. Okay, so East Trades Vice President of Investment Strategy said in an interview, "We're coming off this nine-year-plus run. Investors recognize that it's not going to last for." Ever. And what do we say all the time? Past performance does, does not, not indicate future, future results. results. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so it's just the economy. That's how the economy Absolutely. goes. You know, so goes the economy goes up, it goes down. Mm -hmm. We're bear, we're bull, mm -hmm. we're bull, we're bear. Right. And so uh, we've been doing good. Like I said, the past nine years, it's mm -hmm. been, you it's, know, it's doing pretty, pretty good. good. Mm -hmm. So uh, those people who are in tune to the market understand that you know what goes around has to come around right and also what goes up must come down must come down and and so 
uh, like I said, you guys really need to get prepared. So today's show, we're going to be talking about this. Mm-hmm. We're going to be explaining uh, what a bull market is. So that's the next article. But then we're also going to conclude the show with some tips, mm. four things you can do to prepare for this recession that is inevitably coming okay. in the next two years. So uh, definitely, you know, normally we say midway the way the show, share the show, share the show right now. Right now. Okay. Yes. Share the show right now uh, and make sure the people that you know are seeing this because it's crucial for us to be planning appropriately. Okay, so let's go back to the article. Tony, you want to pick up from there? It says just one in three investors surveyed said that the bull market will last three or more years. Democrats titled more bearish, but only slightly so. One in four say that the end is near, compared to with 17% of Republican investors and 53% of Democrats said that the market volatility will increase as a result of the U.S. midterm elections compared to 43% of Republicans. The E-Trade survey included that 900 active voting investors who manage at least $10,000 in an online brokerage account. The S&P has quadrupled, of course, calling the demise of the bull market has been a bad bet in the past. Despite the recent uptick in volatility, the S&P has quadrupled since the bear market low in March 2009, the bull has survived countless scares, including the 2011 uh, European debt and crisis and debt ceiling uh, stalemate, and the early 2016 growth scare is now the longest bull market in American history. And as the U.S. Co- economy is enjoying strong growth, especially relative to recent slowdowns overseas, if the countries the bull market could leave on live on for years. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, you know what I'm thinking? I said, you know what? I, I thought about this because I actually heard heard the president say it, you know, um, that is, it was going to change if we if we get rid of him. But you know what? It's just time, you know. But we, you can't we, stay forever. So, I mean, I don't know why. And we don't want him like forever. <laughs> I'm just saying. I said it. I mean. I said it. No, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, but, but um, regardless of who's in presidency, we, we, we still expect these things to happen. On last show, we talked to people about mm-hmm. being midterm elections, uh, how the market is affected by that. Mm-hmm. So uh, in two years, yes, investors are going to be saying, okay, so w- which way are we going? Which, which direction are, are we going? Are we going to the D side or the R side? You know, w- which way are we going? Mm-hmm. And they're going to make and shift in adjustments as well. And so economically, you know, this is – this is normal for it to take place like this. Mm-hmm. Yes. Absolutely. So um, was that it on that article? I think it was a, was it a little okay, bit more. So, okay. You can continue. So it says one in three say that stocks have already peaked, but it's not just investor survey by E-Trade growing for more cautious. The Office of Financial Research and arm of the Treasury Department warned that is an annual report issued on t- Congress on Thursday that the market risks remain high and there mm. are more risks of macroeconomic outlook than last year. While overall the financial stability risks are moderate, the OFR report said that the stock prices are historically high. 44% of global fund managers surveyed that in November by the Bank of America Merrill Lynch say the economic growth will... Where am I at? (laughs) Decelerate (laughs) in the next... (laughs) 12 months, the worst outlook in the decade, and one in three investors think U.S. stocks have already peaked and doubled the amount who said that in October, is that it? Okay. Even though the U.S. economy is cruising along, the GDP growth clocked in three and a half in the third quarter. The growth is expected to slow down due to the U.S.-China trade war and fading help from last year's tax cuts. The IMF recently downgraded in 2019 growth forecast for the United States and China and the world's two biggest economies. Slowdown fears that have already dented the U.S. stock market, the S&P trading about 9% lower than the record in September. Wow. Hmm. I mean, there you there you have it. So that's you know gross that, domestic product growth mm-hmm. clocked at uh, in at three point five percent in the third quarter. Okay. So I mean, it's just so much growth we can have. But like I said, what goes up 
must come down. So and, and you know, we we've done stories about, you know, the trading in China and things like that. So there's a lot of things, other things that are, are going to in effect too that's gonna, you know, make a difference or, well, or play a part. Exactly. We're starting to feel the effects or the residual Absolutely. effects of those decisions of policy. Mm-hmm. And so uh moral of the story is that you guys looking at us, watching us right now you need to be prepared for what is about to come. And, um, you know, the importance of that we're going to talk about uh, in in the last article that we share, which gives talks about the things that you as a consumer, uh, you know, and, and, and a citizen here, what you need to be doing to mm-hmm. prepare for these things. So, of course, uh, we're all about keeping you guys on the cusp of everything that's going on with the latest and greatest. And so when it happens, hmm. you can say, oh, I heard them say that on the money factor. If you're watching. <laughs> but if you're not watching, you know, uh, those of you who will be watching us later, you can go back and watch this Absolutely. show. And so we encourage you to definitely share this because this is information that I know is going to be vital to your financial future. So uh, is that it on that article? Was that it? We got some more? So mm. recession in 2020, there you go. Few investors are branching bracing. for or bracing. I'm sorry, bracing for an imminent recession, the likely trigger for a new bear market. Yet there is growing concern about whether the economic expansion can endure beyond next year. Mm. They're saying two years, but they're like, Maybe I don't know. Year. Can we can we handle it? I mean, can we can we even survive that long? Wow. Half of economic survey by the Wall Street Journal expect the next recession to start in 2020. Mark Zandi, chief economics of uh, Moody's Analytics, sees the next recession coming in the summer of 2020. Some investors are pointing to the recent downturn in crude oil as well as autos and housing as early warnings of potential trouble ahead. E-Trade urged investors to recognize how much risk they have in their portfolios. Hmm. Okay, if the recent market vitality is too painful to stomach, investors can pair their exposure to stocks. We're always preparing for the Russian winter, and that holds more today than ever would, Lorenberg said. So, uh, you guys, you better wise up. Hmm. Okay, these we you know when these type of uh, uh, when these type of uh, what do you call them um, forecasts mm-hmm. or made, you know, sometimes you know it's like, oh, it's supposed to rain today. Oh, it don't never rain. We don't okay, take it and then we mm-hmm. don't take it serious, and then you call in the middle of the day pouring down. So when I we're talking about, I didn't rain. know it was going to rain. Well, we, we yeah, well they told you. Mm-hmm. So we're telling you that there's going to be some financial impact hitting you uh, in the next year or two. So be prepared for that. So what we are prepared right now is to go to our first sponsor, which is Elite Dental Wellness. And at Elite Dental Wellness, our vision is to create a welcoming practice that will offer exceptional dental care and a lifetime of dental wellness. We're committed to the finest possible oral care and the overall health and well-being of our patients. Elite Dental Wellness is built upon a foundation of integrity, expertise, and service. Through our commitment to modern dentistry, continuing education, and friendly atmosphere, we strive to make our patients feel that they are a part of our family. Dentistry can be scary, daunting, and uncomfortable. Dr. Pertice and her team work tirelessly to ensure your comfort. Make your appointment today with Dr. Chandra Batiste at Elite Dental Wellness by calling 713-789-8680. There you go. Okay. So um, getting back to the matter at hand. <laughs> <laughs> so um, like we say, midterm hit us uh, last week. And, and now they're already they're already on board to start anticipating what the markets are going to do uh, based on the way midterms came out. So, right. Tony, you're correct. So what does that mean? Well, it means that you need to take ownership of your finances and you also need to take ownership of planning. Mm. OK. And so a lot of us just want to, you know, float through life like nothing is happening. We can't afford to do that anymore because when we hit a recession, guess the first thing that is uh, is affected? Your disposable income is affected. And disposable doesn't mean that you throw it away. Right. It means this is funds that you have left over after you've saved, 
after you've gave and after you've spent, mm -hmm. okay? This is what's left. So when a recession hits us, typically um, we're paying more for things, interest rates are higher. There's a lot of uh, effects that, that we need to take into account right now. Right. But you can prepare. That's the reason for this show that's to get them on on track to prepare. That's the key right there, LaShonda. Mm -hmm. The planning and the preparation of it all. That's mm -hmm. all this is all about. It's helping you prepare and plan for what's to come, what's next, and what's unseen. Right. Unseen. So, yeah, you know, like we get tornado warnings and oh letting us goodness. know, okay, take shelter, mm -hmm. go get you some water, hurricanes, of course, hurricane, hurricanes. Um, they tell us to prepare. So this is like a two-year warning. Mm. And so it allows us to really get our houses in order, our right. financial houses in order. Right. Uh, if we don't get our houses in order, then guess what happens when you don't prepare, when they've warned you? You know, those people that say, oh, I'm not going, I'm going to stay, and I'm going to ride it out. Guess what happens to a lot of those people? Unfortunately, uh, some bad things. Yes. They some either pass, things. their houses are destroyed, they lose everything just because they wouldn't take heed to the warning. So this is a warning, mm -hmm. a friendly reminder that yeah, <laughs> some absolutely. things are going to go down financially for us all in the next couple of years. So um, uh, speaking of some things going down, Facebook Live. <laughs> That's a good segue. <laughs> it's going down. It's going to go down. For real. We're not on it forever, <laughs> you guys. You know, we only get 15 minutes, and we've been giving you guys a little grace, giving you a few more minutes. But we need you to go this moment, this second, right now, and go subscribe at The Spear. Go there, subscribe to The Money Factor, and while you're there, we'll love it if you would write a review. Shoot over to iTunes and let them know what you think, okay? We would love to hear uh, what, you, what, you know, what you are learning from us, what's great. Uh, constructive criticism is also accepted, mm -hmm. uh, but we do need you to write a review. Then the next thing you need to do is share the show. Like we said earlier, you must share the show because we don't know who you know. How are we going to warn everybody about... What's going to be happening in the next couple of years if you don't share the show? So we need you to share the show, okay, to all on all your social media outlets. outlets. You can actually share this on uh, Instagram. You can share it on Facebook. You can share it in LinkedIn. You can tweet it. Just share, okay? And while you're there, of course, we provide this show to you completely complimentary. So we'd like for you, if you like our cause, you want to help, you can donate. There is an option for you to be a regular donation patron, or you can donate one time. Whichever you like to do, we'd like it, we'd love it, but we need you to go do that right now, right this now, second, this right now, moment. Right the show is not ending, but Facebook Live is ending. And uh, to watch the show in its entirety, you must be a subscriber. So go take care of that right now. Tony? I'm just looking up there. I just love that shirt. I know, I know, I love your shirt I too. Just, I just like the way, look at it, the bling, bling. Can we go back to that? Because it's just blinging. <laughs> it's just, I like it on the back of the green. Yeah, it's cute. All right. Yeah, I, so I really like that, producer. You, I like that green on the back of our yes, shirts. Yes, it really looks great. Yeah, it really, it really looks good. great. Really you good. look great too. Look at yeah. Tony's color and stuff. It's look popping. Oh, that part of the nails is green. Oh, yeah, you know, hey. Uh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's so, it's you know the, the almost the year is almost over and you know we're planning you know we always talk about planning and preparing um this is a time we're already talking about 2019 you know in fact in my mind i'm already in it hello i'm already acting like i'm in it mm -hmm. you know business wise this i'm year, definitely acting like over. i'm in yeah, it this you know year is over. it's like you know once we hit november once you start eating turkey <laughs> <laughs> or buying turkey and shopping and doing all you that. You see those lights up and yeah. stuff. Christmas Girl, you decorations. you see the decorations up. I'm like, oh, my Already. goodness. Already. Can we digest the turkey first, please? Hello. I mean, we can't even digest turkey before the lights is blinking in our eyes. You know, we're seeing rainbows through I the know. Christmas lights. I'm like, wow. Yes. So Stores are starting to stay open late so they can collect yeah, y'all's money. They ain't, go, they ain't getting my money. <laughs> Don't do it, okay? Mm -mm. We are going to have some shows about that, yes. how to be disciplined during the holidays. During the holidays. So um, I really like that. So, um, uh, you know, this morning in our workout session, it was like, okay, so, you know, hey, Thanksgiving is coming up a few days. So be mindful. Be be mindful of your nutrition. So you guys be mindful of your finances. Right. You know, mm -hmm. I hope you guys are partic uh, participating in a, a potluck for Thanksgiving. 
because that's the way to go these days. Right. Just bring Instead one, of one dish. person cooking all the food, and you know, and it's, yeah. what, what gets me is always so much food left over. I even said this morning, I said, "Hey, should I cook something?" Because I always like to, you know, have, have my own food, house. have yeah. something for my house. Then I like, you know, sometimes you can overdo it. A lot of times we can overdo yeah. it. I mean, I know, you know, tis the season for us to be thankful, but you guys be mindful of your budget, okay? Mm-hmm. If you can get together with your family and do a potluck, that's economical for everyone, you know. Um, Also, this morning, I had a conversation with someone about, you know, just our current times. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody's watching their dimes. Right. You know, and if you're not watching your dimes and you feel like, you know, you can just throw them out there, you know, you can just throw them out there. You need to pull it back some, rain it on in, put it back in uh, because... um, Man, our times are, are just turbulent. Yeah, they really are. And they if, really and, are. And if you want to just give away some money, you know, um, give to charity. Uh, yes. This morning I saw that the citywide uh, here in Houston is looking for donations and volunteers um, for their annual. This is their 40th anniversary, LaShonda. Oh, nice. Uh, of having Thanksgiving um, dinner down at the George R. Brown Convention Center. And they're in need of uh, contributions and uh, volunteers. So there's a lot of other ways that people can spend their yes. time and their money. You know, yes. a lot of ways. Instead of you just going to buy things that, that don't matter. Yeah, because we know Black Friday's coming. Mm. And guess what? You guys, that's going to come before we have a chance to get back with you. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about that real quick. I know that's not on the schedule, but let's talk about Black Friday, you guys. Um, That's the opportunity for the retailers to come back in, uh, um, you know, back in the plus era. Right. This is where they're supposed to be able to collect the most money and and really bring their reds, turn them back black. Okay. Meanwhile, you guys are turning your blacks red. Mm. So who's going to win here? Absolutely. You know, you have to win. So don't get caught up, okay? Make a list of things that you need to get. We're not telling you guys to forfeit Christmas. We're telling you guys to be wise. But if you can't afford Christmas, then you have to to make some sacrifices. I mean, You have to be uncomfortable sometimes. You you have to be uncomfortable. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing. We need to change, and the task won't be easy. Mm -hmm. However, you have to make a decision that I'm just not going to wild out because the holidays are coming, okay? Be wise, you guys. Right. Be wise. Be mindful of your budget. Mm-hmm. If you need help with that, you know where to reach out to us, okay? Our workshops are not shutting down this week. It's still one going on Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Where at, Tony? Well, we're at 13831 Northwest Freeway, Suite 215. That's Houston, Texas, 77040. We will be there this Tuesday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Also, Saturday, 10 a.m. to 12 noon. You don't want to miss out. This is a great time to take these workshops, you know, to prepare for 2019. This is a great time to get started. Absolutely. If you can't make it Tuesday, no excuses on board. You can come out Wednesday to West Houston. The address is 11111. That's Five ones, suite 100, and that's Houston, Texas, 77079. We're going to be there 7 p.m. on Wednesday and Saturday at 10 a.m. as well. Mm-hmm. So business as usual, you guys. Right. Um, so we're in the business of making sure that you guys stick to your business mm-hmm. of handling your finances properly. Right. Okay. You know, one, one thing I just want to mention, LaShonda, is, you know, uh, I've had to learn this over the years. That holiday is just one day. It is Thursday. That's it. Yeah. And, and, we, and we're, uh, we're not discounting that we need to be grateful, thankful. I'm very, very thankful. Um, but we don't need to go broke doing it. Absolutely. Yes. Yeah. A lot of people are spending money they really even don't have. They don't have it. Yeah. Right. Maxing so, out their credit cards. They're still paying oh on credit gosh. cards from last holidays. And they're already trying to charge things this year. So, you know... Here at the Money Factory, Houston Housewives of Finance, we want to make sure um, that that doesn't happen to you. Pump your brakes. Yeah, that you have a plan. Yes. You have a plan. There's so many other things to be thankful Mm -hmm. for. Mm -hmm. You know, just, just... I just want to throw it out there. You know, this morning on CNN, I was watching a lady, and she had just had a baby. And she said, you know what, I know this is Thanksgiving, but I'm just so thankful to be able to, you know, survive this fire. And she was literally out with a newborn baby, trying to get out of there, drove past her house. Her house had burned down to the ground. So you got to think about it, you guys. We have so much to be thankful for. So, 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 so much. You know, our hearts and prayers go out to definitely – those who have lost loved ones in the California fires. And, you know, there's 
you know, there's devastation happening all around, all around us. us. And because it's not hitting us, you know, we tend to, uh, you know, kind of be, be oblivious to it. Absolutely. But like you said, Tony, let's let's really focus on the reason for the season and really reflect on some of the things that we have to be grateful for, especially if you've gone through the lens to get out of debt. Mm. Be grateful for that and don't right. go back in and it. And don't go back in it. Don't go back in it. Right. So yes. this portion of the show is being sponsored by The Sphere. Are you starting a business or looking for a place to advertise? Do you have a need to reach out to thousands of people around the world to build your brand and sell your product? If so, get your product placement and advertising needs handled right here at The Sphere. We offer a wide variety of content delivery platforms, including iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, YouTube, and Stitcher. Plus, we have a vast demographic reach within the United States, as well as modern countries across the globe. Our enriched content and inspiring dog dialogue, coupled with our strategic ad, is surely to hit the mark every time. Call us today at area code 832-772-7789 or send an email over to advertise at the sphere.tv. Boom. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like when you do both of them. Boom, boom. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes. Yes. That's a lot happening here at the Sphere. Mm -hmm. You guys, if you have a business, you, this is where you need to be. Put absolutely. it in your marketing plan for 2019. Mm -hmm. Yes, absolutely. Okay. So we're going to go on to our next article because some of you are saying, oh, what, is, what the heck is a bull bear? What is a bull bear? What is it? Ah. Okay. So we're going to help educate you guys this morning, okay? Mm -hmm. What is a bull market and what does it mean in 2018? That's that good right. Hey, <laughs> what is a bull market? Okay, so there certainly hasn't been a shortage of talk about the bull market recently from President Trump's Twitter to the top financial analysts. And it seems like the market has been on a fairly steady rise for the past 3,400 plus days. But what exactly is a bull market? Mm. Well, what is a bull market? A bull market is when the securities market keeps rising or when stock prices continue to, I mean, continue rising 20% from a previous drop of 20%. Mm -hmm. But bull markets can refer to other markets as well, like housing or investment. Although it's difficult to predict when a bull market will happen, they uh, they are often the result of high investor confidence and a strong gross domestic product. That's the GDP that we were talking about in the previous article. Decreasing unemployment rates, increasing corporate and investor profits, and increased demand for stocks and other securities. Mm -hmm. So when we see things on a rise, that's a bull market. Yeah, kind of reminds you, like, you know, when the bulls are running. Oh, yeah, Tony, you're right. You're right. The bull is running. Yes. Straight into whatever. <laughs> money, money, money. <laughs> yes. Mm -hmm. So, um, man, and because and, and when they're when they're running is strong. strong. I mean, you yes. hear a lot. I mean, you, you, it's a lot of activity. They're moving stuff out the way. Yes. Hey, uh, literally. Yes. They're moving things out of the way. <laughs> yes. And so uh, that's what we're in right now. Mm -hmm. And we have been like uh, the article says for the past uh, 3,400 days. Yep. So that's a long time. Yes. Yes. So um, this is also what they call, this is the buyer's season. Mm -hmm. You know, this is time to buy stocks and things like that. That's what, you know, things are on a rise mm -hmm. so you can buy now. And um, also, like I said, real estate. Mm -hmm. Our interest mm -hmm. rates are looking pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Mm -hmm. So this is where homeowners really thrive. Right. And people who invest in real estate really thrive. And so we've been thriving. Yay. And so, but my mom always told me, Tony, I uh -oh. mean, I know we come from the same time. Man, you better watch out because, mm -hmm. you know, it won't last forever. Good times don't last always. Good times don't last forever, mm -hmm. you know. And so, again, got to be prepared mm -hmm. for what's to come. What's to come. And we've already told you that, hey. They're predicting that um, it's not going to last. Okay, so here's the thing that you need to do is get in our workshops. Mm -hmm. Okay, we've said that so many times. We keep saying it. Like I said before, we're sick of saying it. <laughs> no, we're not. We're, we're, we're going to keep saying it you know, until you attend the workshops. You've got to come. You mm -hmm. guys, you've got to come to the workshops. Right. Because, I mean, we need to start bringing some testimonies here from people who have actually attended. attended. Mm -hmm. Because, man, people are, I mean, they're just like, lost for words at what the workshop 
does for them what they're able to learn not only just the workshops even if you just sit down with a one-on-one with us Mm -hmm. do a personal financial strategies we guarantee you that you will not be disappointed i had an appointment yesterday and she says wow i've learned so much in a short period of time i cannot wait to get into the workshops wow i cannot wait to get in the workshop so that's all we want you guys to do is to come out and be a part of the one million to be financially educated by the year of 2020 uh we're almost through with 2018 and you haven't made it to the workshops yet and we want you to change your life by starting with the workshops i'm telling you it will help yes it will help and so uh and those of you who have come hey congratulations to you now what we want you to do is put those things that you're learning into practice. Mm. It's not good enough just to come to the workshop and walk away, oh, that was good. Mm -hmm. No, you're supposed to actually apply Mm -hmm. what you're learning in the workshops because we cover just about everything from cradle to grave. Absolutely. Okay, and and even what to do what you have left in the cradle Mm. when you go to the grave. Right, absolutely. (laughs) You know, Um, so wills and trust, we're talking about Everything. Oh, everything, you guys. And there's I nothing mean, that we really don't and touch. And there's nothing that we don't need. Mm-hmm. We need everything. Right. We need all these things. So uh, we've got to stop being, again, oblivious and acting like, oh, this doesn't affect me. This is not about me. Or how about this one? I have time. Mm. I have time. That one's a fatal one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because you don't know how much time you have. You don't know have. how much time you have. No. You didn't even know if you was going to wake up this morning. Hello. You don't know if you're going to wake up tomorrow. Wow. You don't know if you're going to last you today. Right. So you got to handle things in in the present, um, you know, not anticipating, oh, what's going to happen later? Because those are the people. I mean, if we had to go back and interview people who waited till later, I'm sure they would say, I wish I would have done this. Oh, yes. When I was thinking about it, I was thinking about doing this. Oh, we, st- we come across people like that every single day. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And you can't cry over spilled milk, but what you can do is you can start where you are. It's not mm-hmm. it's not where you where you are, it's about where you, how you finish. It's, you know, it's, we still have time to to do it right and, mm-hmm. and to get it right, but it starts with you making a decision. Yes. To do something about your situation. That's the beginning of all things. Mm-hmm. Uh, you making a decision, but then now you know actually you know fulfilling that commitment to that Absolutely. decision. Absolutely. And so commitment is very important when it comes to your finances. You know, we see too many people too many times that shrink back in their commitment Mm -hmm. because something else became appealing or more important to them. Your finances are very important, you guys. How you handle them, Mm -hmm. it's, I mean, it's going to determine your future. Right. And it also determines your current situation. Mm -hmm. No, we always say my current situation. Well, a lot of you, your current situation is not good. Right. So you need to really sit down with us and get a personal financial strategy. Here's how you reach out to us. You can text us. Okay. We have a text code, Mm -hmm. which is 31996. And in the message field, please type in ask A S K. H H O F, all one word, okay? Mm-hmm. You can also call us 1 844 700 4463. Yes, and you can and also, yeah, you can reach us on all our social, social media platforms. That's Instagram, that is LinkedIn, that is uh, Meetup. We're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, of course, as the Houston Housewives of Finance official. official. If it doesn't say official, it's, it's not, not us. us. You guys are still liking that whole page. I know. You guys are still. I know we look good on there and everything. We need to move that. Do I need to move that picture? I mean, what is going on? You guys like, I think because they recognize us. They they do. They recognize us. So today we're going to put our picture out there. And so that you can go and like the right page. It's going to be an updated picture of LaShonda and myself. Yes. Please like the right page. Okay. Um, Because it's very important that you're getting all the information that we're putting out there. Unfortunately, we are having problems with our emails at this time. So Feel free to call us, text us, or you can also hours, we'll have that fixed. you also can reach us on our website at um, www.hhofinance.com. You can schedule an appointment. You can right schedule there. for an annual review. Just do it. Just do it. You got to reach out though. Yes. You got to do something. And mm-hmm. those of us, those of uh, of those of you. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't know why I'm talking tongue today. But those of you who know us individually, Tony also has her own text code, which Absolutely. is. Absolutely. You can reach me at Hey Tony at uh, 31996. Um, that's Hey Tony. Yes. And hey, you can just set up a schedule an appointment. We can meet for mm-hmm. coffee, lunch, dinner, or just meet and just talk about it. You know, um, one thing, take the excuses off the table. We do this absolutely, you know, complimentary to you so that there's no excuses on the table because we want you to win. Absolutely. And those of you who need to reach out to me, you can reach out to me through the same text code, 31996. But in the message field, please type in build wealth, Mm -hmm. all one word, build wealth. Okay. Doesn't matter. Um, We work together here. We have our, we, you know, we're both on the same mission to educate 1 million people through, uh, you know, by 2020 and Mm -hmm. beyond. And uh, we both are, you know, out here every day doing what it takes so that you guys can change your financial future right. okay we need you to participate in your future absolutely this is for you by the way and i, I don't yeah. think i don't think you guys understand the conversations the early morning conversations, the late night conversations that lashonda and myself have regarding not just our community but our country as a whole mm-hmm. um you know I, I have to say that we are partial to you know those who um look like us mm-hmm. and you know brown black community uh anyone Anyone, but let me tell you something. We all need this information. We all want to win, but you got to have the right tools. You have to have the right mindset. And again, you have to make that decision that, you know what? I'm going to take that first step. No one is exempt. That's right. Absolutely no one. Okay. So now we've, uh, we've explained to you what a bull market is. Mm. Uh, Is there it in that one? Uh, Yeah. Okay. So you want to pick up from there? Oh, we're at the top. Mm-hmm. It says during the bull market, the three main stock in indices, uh, S and P 500, the Nasdaq, and the Dow Jones Industrial Average, rise together. It's due to these factors that analysts assert that the stock market is currently in the longest bull market on record, hitting 3,453 3, days on August the 22nd, 2018, from a low on March the 9th, 2009. Jump ahead and uh, okay, go up past that. Attributes to a bull market. Market. While the uh, predictors or the aspects of the bull market may vary, they are generally characterized by a steady rise in stock prices, 20% up to of the previous low, a strong GDP, a low rate of unemployment, and high investors' confidence, especially in equity markets. However, bull markets can be used to describe other markets as well as non-exclusive stocks and bonds and like the housing market or commodities. But markets are typically uh, perpetrated by overzealous investors who optimism in the market keeps ratcheting stock prices higher and higher. Still, the main drivers of the bull market are in the increase in the top line revenue at the rate of matching in the rise in the nominal GDP. Increased on top line profits for companies and corporations or earnings growth. Buybacks where companies buy back their own stock in the hopes of driving up the stock prices, usually because the company views the stock has undervalued. Long-term monetary accommodations with the Fed, keeping lending costs low for companies. Um, the P.E. ratio, the price of the share and the earnings of the share, and the buy-the-dip strategy, where investor stocks at a discount after a sell-off. Hmm. So that's what attributes to a bull market. There you go. So yeah. you can't say you don't know. Now you know. Okay. So you have to help somebody else to learn by sharing the show. Absolutely. So, um, and and the long and short of it is that it's good times. I mean, that's why it's where everybody's high five each yeah, other. They, 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 they're, they're happy they're like, right now. Oh yeah. Right. You know, things are looking great. They're looking good. And and so when you're able to benefit from those times, then you do have to take heed to. Um, the other times that are coming. Right. So uh, let's go ahead and look at the next article, which talks about how to prepare for a recession, mm. Tony, that we're so, expecting. Since we're expecting this, right? Yes. Uh, so perspectives. We're just two years away from the next recession. Mm. Okay. And uh, this is uh, written by Mark Zandi for CNN Business Perspectives. Okay. This was just published in October. Um So the unemployment rate is a record low, 3.7%, which is good. Wages are going up at a faster pace. Inflation has peaked up, 
the Federal Reserve is tapping uh, tapping the, the brakes and long-term interest rates are rising. The economy is red hot fire, as we like to say. Mm-hmm. So it's <laughs> so it's time we talk about the next recession. But I know you got to talk about something else first. Mm-hmm. Like so before we go to sponsor. that, this portion of the show is being sponsored by KOG and Company. Are your unique gifts and talents changing the world? Unleash Your Dopeness is a people in power movement built to encourage the masses to operate outside of their fears and have the gall to recklessly pursue their dreams and passions in life. Join thousands of others as we unlock the greatness that dwells inside. Shop dope gear at KOG passion.com that's kog passion.com and use the coupon code dope d-o-p-e explanation point for 10 percent off exclusive unleash your dopeness apparel act now sizes are selling out fast you know what i'm saying yes yep we definitely do see what you're saying yes and i definitely need to get that hoodie because it is oh, chilly it's chilly mm-hmm. it's chilly, it's chilly. The is no joke right now right all right you know we in Texas. In we, Texas. You know, so we're not used to Texas. this. Texas, according, yeah, according to Texas. Yeah, we're not used to this. people in the north, up north, they're, they're like, like, whatever. Whatever, you guys. <laughs> That's like winter. I mean, it's like summer for us. So. Yes. But let's go back to this article. And it says, um, where am I? The best, is that where I am? Red hot? I, I, that's where I left off. Okay. Uh, I believe the next recession is coming in into view the summer of 2020 to be precise is what's being said the best long leading indicator of an economic recession is when the economy passes through full employment economic uh, economists endlessly debate the definition of full employment but most think a good benchmark is a 4.5 percent unemployment rate Hmm. this is the so-called full employment unemployment rate or natural rate of unemployment so those that are unemployed would beg to differ. <laughs> you know, I you was know. thinking the same thing. Yeah, I was like, you know what? To I, I always hear them saying that, that, oh, yeah, unemployment is down. But these people, they still don't have no job. You're hmm. right. Yes. You're right. People are still struggling yeah. for employment. I mean, maybe it's just where, in our, where <laughs> we see. But, I mean, I'm like, I'm not seeing, I mean, I, you know, a couple of people hiring. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, really. I mean, I haven't. Yeah, yeah. I, I still. I mean, we we see people every day. Yeah, just yesterday. Yes. We I mean, see so I'm like, every okay, day, so, and people are not saying that they're happy about their employment situation. Right, and, and on top of that, even if they are able to get a job, they're they're underpaid. That's the biggest concern. They're underpaid. So when you accept a, a job for. And you're underpaid, especially what you're used to, you know, underpaid making, from what you're used yes. to making. Then in those people's minds, they're still not gainfully I'm like, employed. I'm not gainfully employed. Yeah. I can we're barely just, pay my bills. Exactly. I'm not even living paycheck to paycheck. I'm living day to day. And that's why this information is so important. And it's so important that you get into the workshops Absolutely. and also get into a strategy one-on-one session because, um, you know, we have to be able to plan around these situations Mm -hmm. and make sure that we have a plan to meet our obligations in the midst of these situations. But yeah, we're coming across too many people that are too many people seriously unhappy with their employment situation. And, and, and the sad thing is some of them don't even see a way out. They're very discouraged. Right. So anyway, but according to this article, we'll go back to it Mm -hmm. because it's saying that things are better than they actually are. When the actual unemployment rate falls below the natural rate, wage growth accelerates, squeezing uh, businesses' profits and causing them to raise prices for their uh, for their wares more quickly. The higher inflation prompts the Federal Reserve to tighten monetary policy and long-term increase rates to, uh, I mean, and long-term interest rates to rise. The economy eventually overheats. So that's where we're headed. Mm -hmm. And when a car overheats, it's Mm. not good. It's like the Fed is trying to land the economic plane when it's approaching the tarmac at 250 miles an hour. And we know that is impossible. It's not. Guess what happens? A crash. And so that's where the recession is. You know, it's expected to 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 go down crash the fed hopes that it can tighten policy just enough to cool off the economy by causing unemployment to rise back and it it, uh, into its natural state before it overheats 
a common men, uh, metaphor is that the Fed is trying to pilot the e e economy to a soft landing. And this is very tricky to do. In fact, the Fed rarely succeeds. Hmm. That's scary. That's very scary. Because they control our dollar. Yep. Okay. So that's not a good look. I don't know about you guys, but I'm like, okay, so what I need to be doing? Yeah, I'm like, where are those four things? I need okay. to, we need to tell these We're people. We're about to go into Because I'm okay. like, whoa. You want to pick up from there? Wow. Okay. The problem is that once the unemployment starts to rise, even from very low level, a vicious cycle quickly develops. The increase in unemployment worries consumers who turn a bit more cautious in their spending. Mm. Businesses see that they hire fewer people, unemployment mm -hmm. rises some more, mm -hmm. and consumers' businesses, businesses pull back more. Mm -hmm. The economy invariably crashes. Man. There you have it. That's what happens. The soft landing in the economic plane gets the, gets the harder, the farther employment, unemployment falls below the natural rate. That's because unemployment has to rise more to get back to the natural rate before it overheats. It's like the Fed is trying to land the economic plane when it is approaching the tarmac at 250 miles an hour. Given the mass, massive fiscal stimulus, the temporary juicing up the economy, the deficit finance tax cuts, and the increase in the federal government spending, the unemployment rate appears headed for a near 3% by the end of the decade. If so, the Fed will need to pilot the economy from 3% to 4.5% unemployment rate without crashing the economy. Hmm. <laughs> Oh. If history is a guide, it takes approximately three years after the economy passes through the full employment um, for recession to ensue. Unemployment fell below the four and a half natural rate in the summer of 2017, meaning the next recession will be in the summer of 2020. There you go. There you have it. So they do know when. So you guys, listen up, okay? Because now we're about to give you the four things that you need to do. So we've already given you the history. We've told you. Girl, they know. Yeah, yes. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So you know, you you now you know. That's now what the money know. factor is all about. That's what Houston Housewives of Finance is all about. Keeping you in tune financially with your monies and letting you know what's going on around you so you can be prepared. Okay. But the sad thing about Alashonda Johnson. You guys are not going to take heed. You guys are not going to share the show. You guys, guys are not going to go back and listen and, and read these articles that we're bringing to you that can really impact and empower your lives. Surprise us. Please do. Okay? Make Tony out of a liar and go do it. Yeah. Okay? I, I would suggest you do because it will be in your best interest to do Hello? so. Hello? Yes. This is going to affect everybody. Yes. Okay? So now we've explained to you guys where we're currently at. We're in a bull market right mm -hmm. now. But that is expected to go down. We've expect, even explained to you what a bull market is, mm -hmm. and we've explained to you how it shifts and why it shifts and what makes it shift. Now, what can you do? Let's look at it, Tony. Mm. Okay. Number one, four ways to prepare your finances for the next recession. Number one, I'm going to scroll down here. Uh, build your emergency fund. Hello. Wouldn't you know it? OK, you don't want to think about losing your job or some other unexpected emergency, but it's essentially it's essential that you prepare for it, especially if we just told you what's going to happen. If you're unexpectedly out of a job because the economy is growing through going through a difficult time, you may have a harder time finding a new job with the same level of income. And we just read we to you why we just told you why. OK, building an emergency fund to cover at least six months of expenses will help you sleep at night if the economy starts to decline. Hello, somebody. They've just told you that they expect it to decline. If six months, can we repeat? If six months of savings is too audacious of a goal at first, start small by setting up a direct deposit into your emergency fund savings account. Also create a budget and analyze your spending to look for areas where you can cut back. Start cutting back now, you guys. Mm -hmm. That's what we're talking about. Don't jump into this Black um, uh, Friday thing. You know, you need to start cutting back right now. Put any extra savings Spend. into your emergency fund. Spend less and save more. 
So take the next two years, build up your emergency right, fund. Right, right. Because you know it's coming. Because you know it's coming. Right. So if 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 unemployment hits your household, you can sleep at night. Right, and you're prepared. And you're prepared. Absolutely. Number two, Tony. Pay off debt if you can now is an excellent time to review your debts and could you as easily pay off some of your debts if you prioritize them for the next year could you consolidate several credit cards on no interest credit cards to pay it off faster what if you paid off your business loan early there are a number of steps that you can take to get out of debt two of the popular uh ones are the debt ladder and the debt snowball. Yes. The debt ladder starts by prioritizing your accounts and the highest interest rate as you are putting extra money towards the accounts. You make minimum payments on the others and then you pay off the account with the highest interest rate and move down uh, a rung of ladder and apply all the extra payments to the accounts with the highest rate. The debt snowball, which is my favorite. This mm -hmm. is the method prioritizing and paying down the accounts with the lowest balances first. You put extra money towards the account with the lowest balance and once that is paid off, you start attacking the next one. Uh, this is in our workshop number two, mm -hmm. which is uh, controlling your debt, paying off your debt. We, we show you exactly how increasing to income in, increase and, your income and debt, and debt manage, management and mm -hmm. debt management. We show you exactly how to do this. Yes. We also can sit down with you and, and go over it with you. We have a program um, that we can help you so that you can get out of that debt. You cannot save if you're in debt. It's, cr it's keeping you from creating wealth because you owe you owe so off the work you go. Mm -hmm. You have to have a plan. What's number uh, three, LaShonda? Number three, I hope you guys are listening. Review investment risk. Hmm. Okay, review your investment portfolio to make sure it aligns with the level of risk you're comfortable with. If you're close to retirement, you likely don't want to have all your money in riskier stock funds. I think you oh should my repeat gosh. that one. If you're close to retirement, you likely don't want to have all your money in riskier stock funds. Think about how your investment would do if another recession happened. I mean, can you take the loss? If you're not comfortable seeing them drop as much as they did in 2008 and taking as long as they did to recover, you should think about a plan to get your money into a safer investment over time. You may be invested in real estate or taking on extra business risk. Take some time and be honest with yourself. Please, you guys, be honest with yourself. If anything you're doing could collapse under negative economic times, have you gone through worst case scenarios? Are you realistic in your expectations for how long you can keep making money doing what you're doing? Mm -hmm. These are some good questions. Very you got to ask yourself these questions. Absolutely. And Tony, number four. And number four is pay more attention to the economic news. That's what we're here you for. You don't need to be an expert to have an idea of whether the economic times are good or bad. If you pay attention, even just a little bit, you can get a sense of how things are currently going. Typically, before a recession, there is a leading indicator that mm -hmm. precede recession. One of the biggest signs in is a inverted yield curve. The simplified explanation of this is when the short-term loans rates, two-year treasury, are higher than the long-term uh, rates, 10-year treasury, the interest rates normally are higher than the longer than the term of the loan. But before a recession, they can invert. To stay informed, you could occasionally search online uh, for this term. If you are starting seeing articles that curve is inverted, you know that you're about a year or so to get your finances in order because a recession could be coming. That's exactly what we brought you guys to today, this morning on this show. This is exactly why we, uh, you know, really why exist. We exist. Why you know, we exist. To, br to bring you this information that you can definitely use. It's telling you, we've read several articles this morning to tell you that this is what's going to happen. Now it's time for you to prepare. Act. you got to act. act on yes, it. Yes, we've given you a two-year warning. Wow. Two-year. So here's what you need to do. You need to contact us right away. I'm LaShonda J at HoustonHousewisefinance.com. You can absolutely text me uh, at 31996-BUILDWEALTH. Uh, Tony, how can they reach you? You can reach me at our text code at 31996, and that's Hey Tony, all one word. And you can leave us a message on social media anywhere that you can. Anywhere. You can call us. You can go onto our website. You know how to reach us. Yes. We're, we're not hard to find. Just Google us, and you will find the Houston Housewives of Finance official. You will find us. But yes. just get in contact with us. You guys, you got to have a plan. If you don't have a plan, 
then you plan to fail. And this is a two year warning. Right. Two year warning. Wow. And not, I mean, not really two years always. I mean, really, because we're getting ready to hit 2019. So you right. got 19 and then 20 is coming right after. That's right after. So, um, so really guys, about a year and a half. You got about a year and a half because mm-hmm. they're saying the summer, summer mm-hmm. of 2020. Absolutely. Okay. So you got to get serious. This is a serious matter. Your finances do matter. Your future does matter. Take heed. Take action. Reach out to us today. Share this show. You have to share this show And you've got to contact us to take action, okay? So we will see you next week, same time, same place, right here on The Money Factor. Bye-bye. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, yes. Happy Thanksgiving.